Hey Leo, how is it going? I hope your summer's going as well as it can. Um, I, yeah. Anyway, you know, I'll be mad arcing when I start this shit, but I guess I'll get better, you know, right? Um, so let's get cracking with your, uh, with your June reading. For the first couple of ones, I was breaking them up by, I guess, week, but I don't know. I feel like yours is going to come out a little different, so we're going to see what's happening. I try to have a structure, but that shit don't help, you know. It don't help all the time. The whole point is that we do the reading, right? Yeah, you have one come out. Uh-oh, okay. Looks like someone's taking a break from a situation. All right. So it looks like, and I'm actually going to use my Crow's Hero cards. I was using my Mini Tarot before, but for some reason, I feel like these are the shit. I don't know. Okay, so for start, it looks like at the beginning of the month, you are taking a break from something. Maybe you were working hella hard. Maybe you, damn. Maybe you, okay. It looks like you might have been working really hard in a situation. I get this vibe that like you were trying to make a situation that isn't working work. But let's see, get the tarot to clarify, yup. Okay. This might be job-related. I low-key feel like this is job-related. So, whatever the situation was, this Ten of Swords had you pretty pretty damn stressed, which to have Leo stress is pretty serious. And the lovers. It could be a love situation, but I think this is more about, like, uh, I just really feel like work is, like, a major life thing because the fool is causing you to, to, to do the jump, take a leap of faith. And what this fool card was really interesting is that it's, like, Homie's not jumping off of a cliff. Homie's like about to jump in order to take off and fly away. So that's a little bit different. So that makes me feel like you're out here trying to consider how to take off from a situation that um, you're taking a break from. So it could be that maybe you like went on hiatus or some shit or you took a pause from something before deciding how you're going to move forward with it. Hmm. I mean, hey, it's always going to take a break if it's a major decision like the one I think you're making. Okay, why? We got the Page of Cups. The devil and the page of wands. Someone might tell you that they love you or how much they appreciate you or the work that you do in order to get you to stay in this situation. Yep. Someone's going to play at your emotions. That's the thing about Leo that people forget. Leos, they have feelings. Y'all are like so... I don't want to say sensitive, but y'all are softies. You still fuck somebody up, wreck they shit, but can't really play with Leo's emotions like that. All right. So, and I see the page of wands and then the moon. Oh, damn. Okay. Page of wands, I think, is you. You could be fucking with a water sign, but I think this is more like someone playing with your emotions. So, you're going to tell somebody a secret, right? It could be a heartbreaking secret, but I read this as like you haven't been happy for a while in this situation. Could be a work situation. It could be someone that you're just collaborating with on a regular basis. It could be a friend. The point is, is that you haven't been happy for a hot one. And that they want an explanation as to why you're still making this choice or they're trying to change your mind. But you're not going to change your mind. Hmm. And ultimately, because the sun card fell out on top. It's another Leo card. Um, it's really positive energy. So it's the right choice. So if this person is upset or if you're concerned about how this choice affects that person, it'll be fine. Like, you're making the right choice. You know what you're doing. At the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So hell, you could be choosing to do something for the best, better, best for the both of y'all. Damn, Leo, this reading going fast. All right. But see, that's like for the first half of the month. And then we got community, nine of pentacles, and the high priestess. I read this as you're going to be more independent, so you're not going to be listening to other people. I think you got to keep your own counsel on this choice. Yep, because every time you listen to other people, that shit stresses you out. You're worrying about dumb shit. You might not be able to sleep. You know, if like you weren't even worried. You're not even normally worried about what the fuck other people think normally. But for some reason, they, they got you out here. They playing. So, yeah, you want to make sure to listen to yourself. You know, be a Leo as well. People like you always do, right? I'm kidding. Um, but you do want to listen to yourself because ultimately, if it's a choice you're making, it ain't going to matter. Yep. 
that page of cups again whoever this person is maybe they're like your friend from work maybe there's someone you've worked with in the past maybe there's somebody but even if it's like you're choosing not to do this they gonna try it they're gonna try huh you're not even gonna fight with this person about it You're not. Like, if this person is normally prone to, like, trying to be emotionally manipulative whenever you try to choose to do something or whenever you engage with them and you get into an argument with them, you're not going to lie. You're not going to be dishonest. You're not going to fight with them. You're not going to find a way to, to win and, like, prove a point to them. He's going to be like, whatever, bro. It is what it is. I'm going to do what I do. And you can either get with it or, or get with it. Either way, they're, they're going to... Whatever it was they used to pull before, that shit ain't going to work now. And I feel like you don't even have to tell them that. Like, they're going to be in the middle of tripping, right? Like, in the middle of just their whole fit. And then they're going to stop. Because they're going to be like, damn, this shit don't work no more. I'm going to waste my time. Okay, well, let's see what's happening towards the end of uh, June. For some reason, I just heard April. So... Maybe some shit popped off in April, and this is a culmination of that shit. But either way, maybe they try to stop you back in April when you're going to do this. Time to go. See what I'm saying? You were here the whole time for this fucking reading. You heard me. You heard me. Everybody dipping out on situations. It's like this whole batch of y'all. It's like all the people that they haven't, like, they supposed to be partying and shit during the summer. For their birthday, y'all are like, fuck this. I'm up out of this bullshit situation. I don't give a fuck what it is. Y'all are gone. Gone, 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 gone. That's hilarious. Okay, time to go. Strength card. Man, Leo, you out here popping. It's like you about to fully be in your element. You know what it is? You know, I've thought about a lot of the Leos I know when they really feeling themselves. They be going on trips and shit. I know y'all can't go on a trip, but maybe you're going to move or you're just going to link up with people or whatever. But you're moving on. But I think that whatever you needed internally to move on, you are. Yeah, and you got the six of wands. So you got the strength cards. It's going to take some inner strength, but you will be victorious. Hey. Whatever situation you're moving on from, you're going to do all right. You're going to do better right? Oh, than all right. I feel like Leo's like, even if your shit gets fucked up, it bounces back a little bit, you know. And, and it's usually better. Damn, page ones, two of pentacles and the ace of cups. Okay. After you get out of that situation, you're going to be able to balance your emotions again. And you'll be able to actually, like, why well, don't I feel like the situation you got out of took a lot out of you emotionally? Or it just changed you so much emotionally. Like, that shit took you for a ride. For some reason, I just get that it truly took you for a ride. God damn it. I hate that shit. It's always rough when, like, I'm not saying that Leos are assholes, but it's like, y'all are very strong people. So, for you to feel, like, not so much emotionally taken advantage of, but for you to be that, like, whooped after a situation, that sucks. That doesn't normally happen to y'all. Like, y'all gotta have a gang of shit going on for that to be the case. Okay. So, I want to get into these advice cards, though. Um, and I want to pull one animal card. Shh. Don't tell nobody that I didn't do that shit for nobody else. But yeah, this has been challenging. Honor your inner knowing and son. Enjoy success and happiness. Again, that fucking Leo shit. And then Autumn, release the old arrest. So you another one. You know what you need to do. Y'all do. You know. Leo's always know. And even if y'all don't know, like, fuck it. Y'all know now. It don't even matter. Like, y'all correct. Release the old arrest. Maybe whatever this process is, it'll be finalized in autumn, but I don't read that. I really think it's like, this is some shit that you've been waiting to have happen, and if anything, like, you've been putting it off. Damn. 
What what situation in particular though? Let's see. See, I knew y'all's was gonna go a whole different route. I knew it. Oh. Okay. It could have been a relationship from the past that fell apart in some secret. Make. Let me shut up. Whatever old shit you found out from the past, and it might have been a secret that got illuminated. It could involve a romantic relationship, but I think it involved you reconsidering exactly what the fuck. Ooh. But why do I read this as like you thought you knew somebody, but you didn't? Yep, and now you and your Queen of Wands energy. Yep, you the Queen, queen of Wands, and now you ready to kind of buck on their ass. So maybe you found out that someone from the past they did something. They like the but like they did something that was like against against like your morals. And it, like one of those things that if you had known, like if they had told you they were gonna do that shit before they done it, you would have tried to talk them out of it. But you maybe would have like reconsidered even really fucking with them after hearing that. But I don't know, man. That's rough. Fuck that person. I don't, don't deal with them. If you think if you think that they're not good for you, they're not good for you. Yep. You chilling right now and you're going to move on. But I think you're going to be more careful with how you invest yourself in the future with it, whatever situation this is. Damn. Huh. Maybe y'all don't need advice. Let's see. What about this one? These are these animal oracle cards I got. This one popped up. Believe in yourself. So if this is work related, you need to just move on. Um, if it's about starting your own, not even starting your own business. I think it's maybe like leveling up. Damn. Sometimes life stings. I think that goes back to what we were saying before. Maybe you have to um, cut somebody loose or cut a situation loose. Maybe it's like, you know what, it could be a family member if it's not like a job, but it's something that's long standing. Like maybe it's like really hurting you, but maybe you realize just how much that situation has held you back. And it's like, if you fuck with it any longer, it's just going to get worse. A rebirth is reassured. So it's like the bad spirit. I don't know if that means anything to you. It's also the number five. You know, that shit's about conflict. That number six plus four the wall spirit card was six plus four is a ten i don't know i mean definitely believing yourself i think also it's allowed a situation to change you yeah you're gonna have to stand up for what you believe in and and it may be something that like you're gonna have to stand up for what you believe in for real for real for real and you may have to tell a long-standing institution or institution institution but like a someone who thinks that they probably have more authority in your life than what they do. Maybe you let this person believe that for a long time and not even tell them, but just through like actions that they like, they fucking up. You got to tell them they fucking up. That's what they look like to me. Huh. Well, don't piss off the leak, huh? Hold on. I kind of did the dummy. The, here's your card. Okay. So it looks like you're going to invest in yourself more. Huh? Maybe you're going to just... Whatever it was that you used to think you needed in order to collaborate, you don't need to do that no more. Yeah. I mean, every time you try to work with people in this particular area that you're moving on from... It's like, they you probably shine a little bit too much and it causes problems, conflict and all that. And so you better off just being on your own right now in order to um, do well. Damn. I mean, I don't know, though. I don't know if that's a bad thing because Leos are pretty good about, uh, yeah, you got to not talk to whoever this was. You got to really leave that situation alone. So eight of wands in reverse. Don't whatever it is, you got to move on. You got to stay moved on. Damn. Well, you know, they're not always sunny readings, but I mean, ultimately you're going to do well, but 
you know, keep the faith because that should be difficult. And this has us a major life change. So good luck. Leo and shit, let me know. I'm so sorry. I mean, not I'm so sorry. Shit, we all been through it. But um, you got this. Because all the other cards are just like showing how you're going to prevail over your situation. So, you know, kick that tower over. And the sooner you kick it over, the, the sooner you can rebuild on a better foundation. So, good luck. And yeah, have a good one. See you in July. Bye, Leo.